back from the dead. Hey guys, Seven Celestial here, and I am doing a little bit of a reaction video to a video I recorded with me playing with some of my friends during the open beta this last week. This actually is going to start off, I believe, with us talking about Bastion and a shit ton of salt about Bastion, because the last game before uh, we found this game was uh, we got wrecked by Bastion on a payload. I'm going to give my uh, points of views about uh, what was stated. My views have somewhat changed since this last game because we did some testing and we figured some things out, which I will share at the end of the game. I'm going to share some of my points of view, some stories of some videos I did not get recorded, unfortunately, that would have been made great videos. Uh, but we are going to share that. I'm going to take a drink of water and then we're going to get going. I would need that because I'm going to be swimming in so much salt after I watch how I watch this video, trust me. So yes, if you haven't guessed already, this is going to be a video where we lose at the end. So, enjoy. It happens. I Get but, out, Lucky. So right here we're talking about I the last game and the bash on the payload. Game, but there are some issues with balance. Yeah. Counting yeah, on I, the I map. At least it's shit that can be fixed and not just fun. Yeah, and I still it's agree with that. Can be fixed. This is stuff that can Other be fixed. That Say that's some game design problem. They're oh, probably going the main topic to is going to be about this map. Uh, the uh, turrets. And yeah. Which I'm talking about, Symmetra. I don't sure. see them nerfing and, um, Bastion because Boran's. while Bastion can do a shit ton of damage, can't pronounce his name right. Damage, especially well for getting his turn. He's easy to kill. Back? Okay, then I go McCree. And I still well, agree with that. Bastion's you easy to kill Bastion until he's well protected. If you, if you can take, you take him, him from behind. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. I mean... Like, I understand that Bastion does a lot of damage because he's an act he's a character and that's his skill to do the turret thing. But when the fucking actual turrets do more damage than any of the characters do... Right, those turrets, yeah, yeah. especially yeah, the turrets when they're upgraded all the way that they need to be, they kill you. you and then when well, he gets no all, he gets to go level problem. three, and it's just like... Uh, no, the problem, the, problem isn't, the problem isn't the strength of the turret themselves. The problem is how many fucking turrets they can spawn. That's with Symmetra. Yeah. Have you seen how many they can Honestly, okay, well, here's I'll have my know, point of view at the end of the video it, on that one. It's that one, one character. One character can... Well, can yeah. actually spawn six, and she can spawn six yeah, in combined, one place. Oh yeah, yeah combined, Symmetra. But combined, yeah. Symmetra. But combined with Tolbjorn and, and Bastion, and then her, if you had all three of them, Probably. it's impossible. Near fucking impossible. Like how, you have how, to have a coordinated just, group oh. like ours to fucking even oh, have a chance. Oh, which is no, very, very true. Off, throw a diva in front of him so she can reflect bullets and have unlimited ammo. Yeah. Right. All nor you dick. <laughs> Yeah, honestly. I don't like, know what Alnor just did, but. Um, oh my god, that setup would be so to nuts. Torbjorn's, like, level 2 turrets are pretty easy to get through, but if he goes molten core, then you're gonna get fucked up. Oh, fuck. Get him, Nipplies. Oh my god. Oh wow, they really cornered us here. Nipplies. They just predicted we were all going out that side. Oh my god. Rob, uh, heal the, the only really counter to Bastion is uh, Genji's reflect. Okay. Yep, that's what I just did. That reflect is so OP though. Bastion but I kind of predicted that they were definitely going to have a Bastion for this map. So that's why I wing Genji right off the bat. I just get wrecked by a Mercy? <laughs> just okay. get wrecked by a Mercy? Oh, back. Oh, I should have killed her. I should have headshotted her. I did I not. By mercy and revived by mercy. Yeah, I played so horribly in this running. game. There's a sniper there. Oh, I thought this was traps. By seven. <laughs> I like how I uh, blocked yeah. his chains there, though. Oh. They all just. Yeah, Rip! Nope. Ah. I'm sorry. Here's the thing, though, they're all overextended. Fuck so you, Bastion. Take I, ha I have a big Whoa. point about overextensions. Oh, um, I feel very strongly Fuck. that when you're defending, you should stay very close to your That's point and on your me. point. Oh, if Fuck. you're trying to defend a payload from attackers, you should be touching that payload as much as possible, Everybody especially when you're a front nope. line. I don't know what happened there. It must have been a else. quick, like, little server. There we go. I'm just Glitch, cause everybody is standing still. And hopes I can get some damage. Following you because you can go faster than me and Mercy can. You'll notice in some of my other videos, especially when I play Soldier, I'll be I'm touching like the the front are, of the payload at all times, trying to keep them from moving it and moving around it. So the guys, I'm flanking them. You'll see, you can fly though. So yeah, I can really fly. High, if 
you go really well, not flanking. I'm trying to get behind him. That was definitely the wrong word. Right here, I make a huge mistake. I should have deflected and then ulted, and I would have been able to take him out. That was a huge mistake. And that revive was very well placed by Rob. GG, Rob. Hey, guys. And this is where I realize. This is uh, that map. On it. I need to go we have a friend who's listening to us who isn't even playing. Yeah, yeah. Listen to what he's already to say. Oh, B? Yes. They already killed me. Commence attack on objective B. Right, yeah, I'm, gonna gonna take it. Fine. I'm switching to Bastion. Is, what yes, it's place. that map. It's oh, that fuck. fucking map. See you him. Hold on, I'm, fl I'm flanking, I'm flanking. Already, you have B already ripped ha! your... Fucking Widowmaker, you oh died. Oh my god, Sucker. why can't I pull my gun out? This is really making me mad. Rob, of There's course, is glitching. Keep in mind, there was a lot of glitching happening oh, to my team no, uh, during this, so there's a lot of things that happened during this that really oh, cost us to lose, especially the saltiness for me. I'm trying to get there. <laughs> we'll get there to where I get super salty. Of course, fucking Roadhog. Oh my god, I'm now spectating trash. I shouldn't have went bashed in here. He there moves way too slowly for an for attack. Oh, Plus, no. he's a defense. I don't know what I was thinking here. He's, he's defense. He's not front line. Yeah, I, tried, I guess yeah. I was trying to flank him and get behind him and do serious damage. But I, if I wanted to do this, I should have got on one of those moving platforms. They need to cut the speed of the healing in half. And uh, came in and attacked him from one of those moving platforms, but I never did. Trying to flank as a bastion is the worst idea ever. Don't do it. Uh, you move way okay. too slowly. I realize oh, it's fucking I... annoying. Reaper yeah, moves pretty slowly too. Yeah, and I made a big mistake well, switching to Reaper on this. I should have switched to Soldier 76. Fucking I've learned that Soldier 76 is really effective for attacking B, which What's I'll up? get to after this video. Your freaking I'm gonna try to get this... Roadhog heard me. I'm gonna try and get this Bastion when he comes Brittany, around. Fuck, fuck him up. I keep going the wrong way. Can we group up on the side or something right here? Yeah, we need to group up and fucking rush him. I start getting angry though, and I play I played uh Oh. I played Reaper very horribly on this map. I really did. Yeah, I didn't I use his abilities as much as I should have. Got their mercy. There. I should have shifted there and yeah. kept myself from dying, but I didn't. And you notice he says he's healing me. Uh, See in the kill cam, he's not healing me. So he's glitching everywhere. Well, I would like to fucking prove that we that this that we can actually take this map. See, we'll and then you. they got the bash bash in here on the. Everybody focus that fucking bash in right now. <laughs> I was on it. All of that. On that, like I said, I should have. Oh my god. <laughs> here, I've got my ultimate, so I can. Where is it? See, I should have just used my ability to get up there and wreck them, but I didn't. At least I got that kill there, though. Bitch. My ultimate Para incoming. They had two pharaohs. Got that bitch. I'm gonna follow that bastion. Got that bitch. Got that bitch. Oh, hold on. He's going going in at that choke what? point is impossible. When you are attacking this map, don't Got do him. that. He's dead. Alright. You want them to come to you. Everyone you don't want to go to them. That's another one we're gonna discuss about this map that we learned. Ah, come on. I was right in front of him. He dead. I hate that light. Bob, I'm behind you. Crap blaster. Got the road I got two of them and then I damaged one of them. Fuck. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Now hold him, blast the fuck out of it. This was a huge mistake. I went in there after Tank him. Mode. Don't ever get in a small space with a roadhog. Get back over there. Never. Fuck! Spawn. Never get in a small space with a roadhog. Oh, oh, very bad map. idea. Ah, uh, yeah, this map is kind of shitty. See, you here comes my assault. This, you see why, you see exactly why now, this spawn. The spawn is terrible. A lot of the spawns for the yeah. Infinity teams are very close to their final objective. But this seems to be the most difficult map to fight that off with. So you pretty much have to spawn camp them to keep them off if you can. But also you have to have a team that's going to be killing them, sitting in their spawn camp. And you have to have somebody who is confident enough in their skills to keep killing them while you take objective B. Spawn can be such a dirty oh word too, God. but that's pretty. But it is a legitimately Guys. good strategy for this map. Um, oh, no, I Travis lost connection, lost yeah. connection no, there. He not. had all. You were in a perfect spot. Too. I'm look how close yeah. I am to alt man. I that could have been a game changer right there. See, but I noticed the bastion there, what? and I know he can wreck me. 
But what I didn't do was he Whoever didn't notice me. On the, on the side of the site, I should have jumped him. down there. Let's go. Let's go. Teleported down next to him and, and got him from the side, but I didn't. I'm trying to build all. It's really nice thing about watching these videos. On top of my exploding neck. How is I'm, I'm on my way back in. I'm on my way back in. Coming by and also. This was really good to use them all. Because really really like, they all came yeah, after me. So I just ulted. All right, I respawned in the area that I was in. And that was a really good use of that ability too. I gotta get myself props there. Okay. Conqueror and then I went. Dog. I'm really sorry, but I have to switch. Bastion. How is he not? Bastion's dead. dead. Bastion's dead. Get on He's the mark. I was so excited. Yeah, I got enough points. Guys, get, get get on their get on their point. And I failed to tell because them they're, they're, they're to get to their spawn point. Behind us. To get the attackers got to it. the oh, spawn shit. point in time. Fuck off, Roadhog. I'm on my way. It was a really close one though. Look at Rob jumping. You're so cute. Uh, someone went, um, we actually got guys, pretty coming. close. Junkrat. Seeing how, how that we got a little bit over half a B covered yeah, for us. Like gotta be pointed range. on that. No, 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 and no. And then we went back. It. Please, no, please, no. Oh. What we need to do is okay. we need to get on hey, site. I need plan. to use my explosive. We need to get Reaper need... on there to destroy them. McCree to pick up stragglers. I'm going to talk about zero. this area <laughs> after the map as well. This is a really useful area that nobody uses. I don't use it as well, but later when I play it, I use it better. What Rob's saying about junk rat. I lost connection again. Sorry. Sorry. I don't know what's going on, why I lose connection, because my internet is not the problem. Oh my god. This is working. This is actually working. Haha, double kill. Oh, they must fucking all revive. And then they had emergency revive. Oh my god. That was a really good play. It didn't, but it should have. That was a really good play. Good no, move. Play of the game. Yeah, I bet you guys can guess who did get play of the game, though. His name starts with a B. And ends with an Ashton. Guys. Dog. I almost got ult. Cause I fucking hate that dog. My ult's almost ready. I should have switched from Reaper a lot of time ago. I should have switched to Soldier 76 because I would have oh, had forgot. a lot better chance. Z to quickly Especially if that. I would have had I'm ult when they all revived. Nice. With my I healing, I could have, I could have oh. shut them oh. down. My ultimate's at 93. But could have, would have, yeah, should have. You know, you can't, you up. can't really do yeah, anything but learn from your mistakes. Okay. Fine. I shouldn't have done that. That pisses me off. I tried to get in a better position to get that Bastion. I should have just ulted right then because they were coming towards me. I should have accepted that and ulted. I killed their Mercy. Their Mercy's down. It pisses me off every time I watch that because I realize I should have ulted there. I should not have tried to get closer to that Bastion. I should have just ulted and tried to stream my way to the Bastion. I knew that was going to happen. That could have been a game changer. Of course, Rob had to leave because he was having so many issues. Alright, that was game. We got wrecked. And of course, I'm salty as fuck. Okay, so. Guess who gets play of the game? I bet that Zayn got something. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, because he was one Here's his play of the game. I'm so salty. Oh, it wasn't even for riding around. I love doing that to Farah as his bastion, I'm not gonna lie, especially- That's not anything like even good though, he just sat there and started fucking- It's what I do on that map, cause it works. Cause it works. We're gonna pause with my words there, that's what I do on this map because it works. Okay, so, this was actually fairly early on, I was level 21 at this level, I believe I got up to level 29 by the time I was done. Um, fucking phone going off. My, I had a couple friends who were having issues, mainly Traz. He was DCing. I had some DC issues later on in that day. And Rob, who had to disappear because he was also having disconnection issues. As you saw, he said he was healing me. And I said, okay, you were. And then I saw the kill cam later when I watched this video once before. And saw that he wasn't even behind me. But he swears up and down that he was behind me. He was healing. But in the kill cam, he clearly said he's not. So he was having issues as well. So that didn't help. But this video really moves on to us talking about problems with Bastion and turrets and whatnot. So here's where I'm going to share some stories. And maybe I can 
So, topic about, um, Bastion. I don't think I started off as Bastion on this one. Huh. He... A lot of people are angry about Bastion because Bastion will get, get can mow people down. He will get play of the game multiple times. He really will. It's impossible not to get a play of the game if you play a Bastion and you play him at least like everybody else plays Bastion. But that map that we are playing on in particular was a was very interesting. We went back to that map a couple times. After that match had happened, much, much later on, we were all together, and we had gotten on that map again, and we were like, man, fuck this fucking map. We were, we were, def and we found out we were defending it, and we were sitting here like, so do we want to be like everybody else and win this map the easy way, or what? And they're like, why not? Let's, here, better idea. Here's what will happen. I set up as a Bastion. Everybody, we had one healer, and everybody else set up as Torboyan. And when the game started, we said, fuck point A. We let them take point A. We had, like, one pug that was on our team who went to point A. And we told him what we were doing. And he was like, okay, that's fine. I'm going to keep him busy here for a little while. He realized what we were doing. He was completely on board. Cool. Every Torboin, while they were taking point A, while they're busy taking point A, got on those moving pillars and set up a level 2 turret. I did what I'm doing right now in this video and sat in a corner where I couldn't be gotten from behind and some and I had a tracer at one point in time come up to me and nearly kill me I healed and I moved somewhere else so, so she came back I wouldn't be in the same spot so I move a little bit more than normal bastions do because I like to keep them guessing where I'm at but still at the same time in a good spot to um because as I believe in this one I actually have some I have somebody tire me uh junk rat get me and bring the tire right here just to get me off the map right here but I believe this was actually still a win though for us. Uh, <laughs> the that map we won, we won it, and um, of course second round we were attacking, and I actually had typed to the to, to the team the other team, and I said I'm so so sorry, and they're like no you're not, and I was like oh yeah I kind of no I'm not, but we won it that way, we just won it that way, we wrecked their shit, and they were trying so hard, they switched different characters. They tried different things, and most importantly, they stuck it through to the end to try to prove that they could beat this fucking setup. They couldn't. Well, second round, since we're attacking, we went a little bit more serious. We we played serious characters. We didn't play all of one, even though we could have. Um, we took point A fairly easily. They, they did defend point A, but of course, as we predicted, they set up the exact same way we did. Now, here's the difference between what we did and what they did. They went in cocky because we devastated them so much. They were so sure all they had to do was sit back and let their charts do their work. And in the end, that got them wrecked. Here's what I also did differently in this game when I was attacking. I didn't play Reaper, as I said before. I actually played, um, I actually played, uh, Soldier, 76. I learned... From what Rob had mentioned in the video earlier, that, that you know we should have a junk rat pulling them out, trying to pull us out, because if somebody's shooting over the wall and actually hitting them, the attackers are going to want to come forward and try to find that find that junk rat to get the pressure off or to keep him from building alt so he doesn't doesn't tire and come in. And he was right. So what I learned about using Soldier 76 on that map was you have him. In that little space, I put, I said that I was going to talk about earlier. You have him sitting there, and you have him constantly healing himself in case anybody notices him. And when the junk rat or the fronted line attackers pull them off, and you see them coming off of their spawn points, um, you see them coming off the spawn point, you gun them down, and you could probably very easily do it as a widowmaker too, and one shot them instead. But I'm personally more about just gunning them down, rocket launch, especially taking out their healer. Their healer, you know they have a healer and their healer pops up in that little space? Fucking wreck that bitch. Wreck that bitch and fucking end game. End game at all. They were very extremely cocky about it and they lost. That was actually the first time we won that map. Like I freaked out. I was like, holy crap, we won a defense. And you know, as, as um, Frosty had pointed out, uh, they were cocky, and we didn't learn our lesson from that, because when we went back to that map again, we tacked that map again, 
Or we defended it, actually. We defended it, we were defending it, and we were too cocky. And we lost. So, what am I trying to say about this? I'm trying to say is that map isn't a complete loss like, you know, we originally thought. Honestly, it takes a whole lot of skill. It takes a whole lot of skill. It takes a lot of um, fighting. But here's the part where it doesn't take skill. You still have to be on your guard, on your watch, as Bastion. You can't just sit back and, you know, expect you to be able to gun down anything that comes into your point of view. Um, the, you, you, as Torbjorn, if a turret gets taken down, you still have to get back on one of those pillars. And get another level 2 turret up. Um, to keep the cycle going. And if that doesn't work, you have to fight to keep them off the point, which our team did very well, except for the next time we defended, where we just got too laid back, too cocky, didn't they, that they would see through our plan. Now, here's the problem I have with it. Uh, for a game that's well diverse, will let you play any character, it gives you that screen, right? And it tells you that if you have too many of one hero. But it has no real consequences for maps that work well for that hero, to be honest. Um, like Bastion or Torbron. It has no consequences, like no, like, certain amount of turrets you can have up, or no damage, you know, downgraded. So, people could go onto certain maps like that one, just play all of one character, and dominate. And I have a serious problem with that, because, like, it takes, because then it comes into a question of, well, then does it take skill? Yeah, you can't be over cocky. And, like, be like, okay, easy win. You still have to know what you're doing. You can't just, like, do the basics of the... You can't do the basics of the character and expect to just sit back and let the... Let it auto-win for you, you know? Um, but then it becomes the question of... Is there any skill required to actually make that map fun and enjoyable? And my answer is no, there isn't. The only fun part about the entire map, in my opinion, and I love it, is attacking and defending point A. I have won a game defending point A, and that's a whole lot more fun than, the point, than um, defending point B. Because it sets up a Bastion, or a Symmetra, or a, um, or a, uh, you know, Torbjorn. Point A is a whole lot of fun because there's tons of areas to go around. There's a lot of areas for snipers. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of uses for all the other non-turret um, characters, whether you're attacking or defending that map. And uh, it's it's a lot more open, unlike the point B spot. But this really just it plays into like what is Blizzard going to do about this? Because I'm noticing as more people learn these maps and learn what characters are good. Everybody's expected to play the map. I mean, a payload map, um, when you're attacking, somebody's going to have a Bastion on their team. They can, I'm going to get on that payload, and I'm going to play turret gun on this payload. And it works. Sometimes. Unless the team knows how what to do. I honestly i am having less and less problems, or I, towards the end of the beta, I should say I was having less and less problems with Bastions on, on the payloads because, um... I learned how to get around them and get them off, off of it. Uh, especially, like I said before, I feel very strongly that if you're defending, whatever you're defending, you should be very close to, to be able to touch at all times. And I feel Soldier 76 is really useful, especially for payloads. Um, so he can run to that front of the car and be gunning everybody down. Okay, that, you know, switching back and forth, back and forth. If you watch my introduction video, you will notice I was doing that a little bit by myself. Um, by myself on that. And it kept that, it kept that vehicle there for a while. It really did. So, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. I know a lot of people have opinions about Bastion. Uh, they have opinions about the turrets. I think, honestly, those are the two biggest issues people have in the game. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about this map? Do you guys think it's broken? Do you guys think that it's possible to defend point B, which I personally do, without a Bastion on the map? Or another turret? 
I think it's very possible, and that brings up point of case about how far they have to run from their spawn point compared to how far the attacking team has to run from their spawn point. It's a huge difference. You pretty much, you pretty much want to have a Symmetra on your team to set up a portal so you can keep the pressure on. Which is something I didn't, we didn't realize that we should be doing until much later towards the end of beta. So, what are you guys' opinions about this map? What are you guys', you know, how would you guys attack this? How would you defend it if you didn't have a Bastion or a Torbjorn or a Symmetra? Leave your comments down below, and until next time, back, back from the dead.